Hello guys, welcome back to uh, today's tutorial. So today's tutorial is all about how to make a word cloud from your open-ended questions from a questionnaire and how to make a word cloud in NVivo. So I'm Dr. Anthony Cliff. I'm, I've done some plenty of videos on NVivo and SPSS and all that kind of stuff before. If you're interested in them as a researcher, then please do like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions or videos that you want to um, have done, please do drop them in the comments um, and I'll try and make that video for you. So today is all about making a word cloud. So I don't recommend um, if you've got any interview data that you do a word cloud, there's better ways to show um, what your participants are saying. But if you've done a questionnaire, um, and you follow my videos and you've coded it and you've got it into SPSS and you've done all your stats. Brilliant, but what happens if you've got some open-ended questions? So you've got some words in there, of course, SPSS doesn't like words. So we're using NVivo. Um, and basically, if you've got a question, which I'm going to show you, um, basically an open-ended question where the participants were shown a picture and they were asked to type in three words on the questionnaire of how it made them feel. So a big thank you to Emily, I'm my dissertation student, who's allowed me to use her data set here to demonstrate this to you. And that's part of her um, thesis currently on marine plastics. So how do we show that then? So in Envivo, we want to go to import and then Excel. Now, it's important um, if uh, you have your stuff in Excel. So if you've watched some of my videos already, before we get it into SPSS, I often do a first step, all about how to basically tidy up your data, make sure there's no um, blank f missing files in there or anything like that. I use Excel first, and then we use the Excel file and import that into SPSS. It's a much easier way, it's gonna save you a lot of time later on. So um, if you're thinking about how to do questionnaire data, please do um, have a look at some of the videos I've already created. And they should pop up here and there. And I've got a research playlist as well in the description. Please do check them out. So um, click next uh, once this has happened. And we can see here all my coded data is in here. Or should I say Emily's data is in here. Um, and question 15, that's really what we're after here. We're after question 15. Question 15 is this open-ended question where they've had words um, that they put in themselves. So that's all looking good. We want to click next. And then we also want to click next here. You don't need to change anything. Now here, I say we're only concerned about question 15 um, because that's our open-ended question. So all these closed questions, don't need to worry about that because that's already been sorted in um, SPSS. So just go ahead and click don't import on everything else and then just leave um, whatever question it is with the open-ended questions um, selected as open-ended. So I'm going to go through that and change that now. Okay, so I've gone ahead and basically selected don't import for everything else and I've got my question 15. Tell then Vivo that it's an open-ended question, which is great. Now we click finish. And Vivo will obviously import that and if you've only got one or two questions, it'll be very, very quick like so. Click close. And now here we go. So our first person said angry, sad, and frustrated. Our second person said angry, upset, disgusted. Um, this person didn't quite understand just the three words, but that's fine. We've still got really sad, so the word sad in there um, is, is useful. So we've got 333 people who answered this question. So how do we get a sense of uh, what people have said the most? So really, really simple. We simply go to Word Cloud. So click on that. that's going to generate a giant word cloud for you. So how word clouds work is the bigger the word and the more bold it is, the more people have said that in your um, your data set. So I can see here angry is probably the most because that's quite big. Disgusted, sad, ashamed, disappointed, um, which I'm not surprised by because that was loads of litter on a beach and, and um, Emily was asking her participants how did that make them feel. So. You know, seeing that kind of negative kind of words coming out is important. But of course, we kind of want to narrow this down a little bit because it can be a little bit confusing almost to really pick out those key words. So where you've got display words, we've got the thousand most frequent. Well, we don't want that many. So you can pick 100, you can pick 50. Often, I prefer to pick 20. So just type 20 in there and then click run query. 
So now we can see here, now we've run our query, um, it comes a little bit more clear what the most 20 um, selected things are. So we've got angry as our big one, then disgusted, disappointed, sad, dirty, sick, worried, embarrassed, shocked, concerned, um, you know, disgusting, disgust, all those kind of things, really, really important. So we get a good, good sense of that. Now, if you're happy with that, you can just right click, copy it, and then throw that into Word. However, what I typically do is I click here with stemmed words. So what that means is if they said that they were disappointed or they found it disappointing, that's going to be grouped as a different as a, basically as a word. So we can see here we've got disgusting and we have disgust or well, we can link those two. So if we click run query. Now we can see that they're disgusting, angry, sad, disappointed, ashamed. That's a little bit better because there's no point showing disgusted and disgusting. If there's someone is disgusted or they find it disgusting, they mean the same thing. So we only have the things here which are slightly different. So like guilty, concerned, which is great. So again, that's a really nice looking one. I would right click, copy that and I'd throw that into a Word file. Now, if you click summary on the right hand side, we can see that 12% um, of uh, the 333 people said that they were angry about seeing that. So that's our most selected word, and that is why that comes out as the biggest, or one of the biggest. Our next one is if they said disgust, disgusted, or disgusting. So again, that's a grouped words. 120 people said that. 11% of our population said that. So again, that's why that's the second biggest. Next one, sad, sadness. 107 uh, people said that. And then that's why that is uh, on the word cloud. That comes up as the next biggest one. So really, really useful. And that goes through and that shows you um, really, really important. Now, for example, here we've got the word people. Now, people doesn't necessarily um, have a, a connotation or a, a, a you know a, a negative word to that. So we might want to tell Envivo to get rid of that. So if we right click that and we click add to stock words list, then click OK. Now, if we run that again, we'll see that people now no longer exists in here. So that's really, really useful if, for example, um, you have the words the or and in there that, you know, don't really help you or don't really benefit the reader seeing uh, what they're seeing. So you can go in there and you can get rid of that word from this particular query. Same here, uh, you have a minimum words length, so you might have set this at um, four to get rid of any ands and the, but as we're only asking on this particular question to list three words, that wasn't really uh, going to come up. So now we got rid of people, that's now added in another word in there. So we've got horrified, for example, now um, in there, which I don't think was in there before. Ashamed, angry, disgusted. Now, if you don't like those particular looks of those particular things, if you click at the top, you can change that. You can change the format in how it looks. You can't really do much else to this. Um, but this is quite a nice looking one um, to have. I quite like that. But I do quite like the original. Um, as we say, we've got that one there. Angry, sad, ashamed. You can change different words here. So whatever suits you, um, go ahead and, and use that. So simply say, right click, copy it. We'll go to a word file. Right click. Paste it. Of course, that's not too good at the moment. You want to go to format. Then we want to crop it. Just like so. Click crop. And then, of course, we want to make that bigger. And then we want to make sure um, that we have that in our center of our page. And then, of course, you would go through um, in references and you would add in. Uh, your caption to that so you'd have it as a figure and you would do all that there and that would all link in so really really simple guys hope you enjoyed that quick video like I say like and subscribe for more videos on that any other questions or comments about this or any other videos please do drop me a line and i'm more than happy to help good luck with your research guys thank you